Climate change is one of the Philippines' environmental problem. As we all know that the Philippines is highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, including sea level rise, increased frequency of extreme weather events, rising temperatures, and extreme rainfall. According to Climate Links, 2017, the Philippines lies in the world's most cyclone-prone region, averaging 19 to 20 cyclones each year, of which 7 to 9 make landfall. So this makes the Philippines one of the most affected country by the climate change. The organization that emphasizes on dealing with the effects of climate change is the Mother Earth Foundation. Garbage is among the top enemies of nature and one of the main causes of climate change. To address this alarming concern, Mother Earth Foundation campaigns zero-waste advocacy to local authorities. They hold programs in schools and baranais to promote environmental education and proper waste management. The encroachment of human populations on several plant and animal species' natural habitats has been a primary agent for the loss of biodiversity. Displacement from one's habitat leaves species vulnerable to harsher new living conditions, predation from other species, and scarcity or inaccessibility of resources required for survival. Worthy of note in this case is the heightened vulnerability of endemic species, or those that belong within a very restricted geographic area. According to FPE.ph in the Philippines, deforestation, forest denudation and fragmentation, is a leading cause of habitat destruction that negatively impacts biodiversity on an exponential scale. Poorly controlled logging and mining activities have created mostly irreparable damage to forest cover, affecting the diverse assemblages of flora and fauna that inhabit those primary forest territories. Findings stated in the DENRFMB's, Department of Environment and Natural Resources Forest Management Bureau, 2011, Philippine forest statistics establish that only about 24% remains of the country's forest cover, with lows falling as badly as 20% in the late 1990s. Regardless of the slight improvement over the past decade, these numbers still illustrate a severe drop from 70% at the start of the 20th century. One of the organization that helps ease this environmental problem here on the Philippines is the Philippines Biodiversity Conservation Foundation. Philippines Biodiversity Conservation Foundation works to restore natural habitats and aims to educate the public on how to protect wildlife from feasible harm. So far, they have completed programs to conserve rare species such as Philippine bats, Colombian deer, and cloud rats. The Philippines faces a great declination of marine life. According to Earth.org, 2019, the Philippines is struggling to conserve its marine life in the face of overfishing, destructive fishing practices, and growing plastic pollution. These human activities coupled with climate change have led to an unparalleled decimation of its marine biodiversity. In 2014, the European Union issued a yellow card to the Philippines warning that it would be banned from exporting to the bloc unless its fishing activities were strictly regulated. In response, the government introduced a new fisheries code that called for stricter measures against destructive methods. But it has only produced mixed results due to the absence of serious enforcement measures. The organization that focuses on the protection of our marine biodiversity is Marine Wildlife Watch of the Philippines. With its strategic location, the Philippines could be considered the heart of marine biodiversity in the world. We have quite a number of sea creature species that can be extinct soon if we don't act on it today. Thankfully, Marine Wildlife Watch exerts strong efforts to protect these creatures from illegal trading and capture. Philippines is now having problems with the waste management due to tons of trash in different regions and less places for disposal, this problem has a very huge effects on our environment. According to Sarmiento, 2018, Freedom Island is drowning in garbage. The last coastal frontier in the Philippine capital provides refuge to migratory birds and a thick mangrove forest there serves as a natural typhoon barrier for millions of city dwellers. 
Yet empty plastic water and soda bottles protrude from the sand, tattered clothes, and plastic sheets hang over mangrove branches, and heaps of shampoo, toothpaste, and soy sauce sachets litter the coastline. The organization that tackles this certain problem as one of their agenda is the Greenpeace Philippines. The main goal of Greenpeace Philippines is to protect natural landscapes, species, and more from environmental threats such as perilous waste imports, coal projects, and illegal logging. Aside from promoting ecological farming, this volunteer-based group also holds campaigns against land, air, and water pollution. The Philippines has a very rich biodiversity and a lot of rare animal species that are endemic here on this country but it is now in near extinction due to its loss of habitat. According to the study of Azores, B, 2018, the top five most endangered species in the Philippines are, 1, the Philippine crocodile, 2, the Mindoro bleeding heart, 3, the rufous-headed hornbill, 4, the hawksbill sea turtle and, 5, the red-vented cockatoo. The organization that helps protect these precious animals is the Worldwide Fund for Nature. The organization's projects don't only focus on food, water, and climate, but on wildlife as well. In fact, they exert effort to ensure the survival of the rarest and most endangered species in the country. Also part of their aim is to transform lives by providing livelihood programs. All this environmental problems in the Philippines has one homologous cause which is the doings of man. Man has always caused many problems on nature but if we discipline ourselves and change our behavior towards nature these problems would have been a myth. Nature is the reason for the survival of humanity in many generations so it is our responsibility to protect and preserve it.